Hey kids, it is so good to be back with you. I hope you have been enjoying our series that we've been doing, God's Big Plan. I don't know about you, but I have been loving it. We've been talking all about how Jesus came to Jerusalem, how he died on a cross for us, and hearing all about our Easter stories. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes these stories in the Bible, they're awesome, but it's hard to know why they matter to us today. So. We're gonna be talking about just that. We're gonna be looking at a bit in the Bible where it talks about Jesus asking us to come and follow him. So if you've got your Bibles with you, why don't you grab them out, hold them in the air so I can see them. Beautiful. Now, if you've got one like me, we're gonna to turn to Matthew 4, verse 18 to 22. Jesus chooses his first disciples. One day, Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee there he saw two brothers, Simon Peter and his brother Andrew. Simon Peter is only one person. They were throwing a net into the lake because they were fishermen. Come and follow me, Jesus said. I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers. They were James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in the boat with their father Zebedee. As they were preparing their nets, Jesus called out to them and right away they left the boat and their father and followed Jesus. How cool is that? All right, if you've got your Bibles, let's just shut them and put them back down. So with that story, I want you to take away three points with me because sometimes it's hard to know, how does this apply to my life? Why does the story matter to me? So first things first, everyone put up one. Beautiful, everybody. So first point is Jesus calls everyone. Say it again with me, Jesus calls everyone. Now, you can see from that story that Jesus called fishermen. He didn't just call the most important people. He didn't call the rich and the famous. He called fishermen. So we can take from that that Jesus wants everyone to come and follow him. Mm -hmm. So can someone say that first point for me again? Jesus calls everyone. Beautiful. Now everyone put up a number two. Beautiful. They took a step of faith. Verse 20 says, they left their nets at once and followed him. They acted fast. The verse says, at once they followed him. So we can take from that, that Jesus wants us to listen to his call to follow him and to do it quickly. So number two, can someone say that for me again? Good job. They took a step of faith. And number three, everyone put up a three. They took up their cost. Verse 22 says, they immediately followed him, leaving their boat and leaving their father behind. Now, can anyone imagine how hard it would be to leave your family behind? It'd be pretty tough, pretty tough. So we can take from that, that saying yes to following Jesus often means saying no to other things. Where there's a yes, there's always gotta be a no to something else. So can anyone tell me my three points again? Okay, okay, I heard some of those. So number one, Jesus calls everyone. Great job. Number two, yep, they took a step of faith. And number three, they took up their cost. Great job, guys. So what does this mean for us? Jesus calls all of us to follow him. But let's remember those points. Sometimes it will cost us. The people Jesus called gave up their jobs and gave up their lives without promise of success, without promise of money, without a promise of even a place to sleep at night. But if we ever feel like following Jesus is too hard for us, we can turn back to this thing, your Bibles, and remember that it is all going to be okay and that Jesus is with us. In Philippians 4, verse 13, it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. I'm going to say that one more time. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. And let's go for one more. Say it with me this time. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. 
And in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, it says, But the Lord said to me, My grace is enough for you. When you are weak, my power is made perfect in you. So I am very happy to brag about my weakness because then Jesus is made perfect in me. So as we go out today, let's remember that Jesus calls everyone, and I mean everyone, to follow him. That Jesus is going to ask us to take a step of faith. And let's remember to take up our cost to follow Jesus. See you next time, kids.